Greetings. I just had a thought and a question. I just got my DNA results back um, recently and found out that I have 13% Balkan genetics and I'm not sure what that means. But of course, I know that I've always liked Balkan style and gypsy type music and I like Klezmer as well. I got 1% of Ashkenazi Jewish. <laughs> Can she speak Ashkenazi Jewish? But the question that came to me was, are people likely to be drawn to a particular kind of ethnic music if they have that ancestry in them and not know about it, don't know it? Like, if I had had... Um, let's say, Indian heritage and didn't know about it, would I have felt drawn to Indian ethnic music all my life, you know? And then Gadzooks, you know, Eureka, that's why, when I get my DNA results back, can a preference for music be carried in one's genetics? Doing a quick Google search just now, in, in modern psychology, apparently it is, there is no such damn thing. Um, culture is not passed on genetically. We do not have a born in ingrained affinity to the culture of our heritage. Isn't that sad? So you're born a blank slate culture then means nothing if if you're you're a white q-tip every time a baby is born you've got nothing in you that's a hard pill to swallow you know cuz culture is so important and like what does it mean if it's all just taught by your parents and the people around you this is how we do things. This is how we dance. This is how we play our instruments. This is how we bake our breads. Um, and, you know, I don't know. I think there must be something that's inherited that makes one culture different from another. That, say, if a baby from Italy is adopted by a Scandinavian family, and one day he travels, say it's a boy, travels back to Italy and feels a great affinity for the things, the culture and the people and the attitude and of the people there. There must be something. Or does he just feel entirely Scandinavian? You know, food for thought on a Tuesday night. <laughs>